I think that I have more organic friends in Berlin, you know what I mean? I don't know. Actually, hold on, let me rephrase that. You have a bunch of white hair. Damn, bro. You're not that stressed. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Growing up in Berlin, the people that I came up with here, I built really actual intimate relationships with because we were in a very small school and we saw each other every day. It was like family. This is Shani. I'm Sani. This is Sarah. Hi. Schöner und er war immer so und weg und ab. As far as who I was as an individual is concerned, I was really fucking whack. I still have my friends from when I was whack. Everybody would just come here to skip school, and we'd sit on these stairs. And whenever there'd be somebody down here, we would have to like go find a different cut. In Berlin, I was here during the most difficult phases of my life as well. Like my mom died here, one of my friends died here, and I was also very vulnerable because I was shit at school and I felt mad, misunderstood by all the people around me. I moved to LA at 19 to pursue music. I knew what I wanted to do since I was zero. Every day I would sing been part of the thing that defines me anywhere I go, you know? I dedicate my life to it. I put in the work. I just knew she was in LA. You know, Someone... The pictures that popped up with like current celebrities, everybody was just like... <laughs> pictures don't lie! Like when she had the picture with Kanye, I was like, hey y'all, she photoshopped that in there. Then you suddenly heard the bitch better have my money song. Someone showed it to me and it was like, yo, it's Rihanna. I'm like, yo, swear down, that I think that's BB. That's her song though. She used to call me and she's like, Sarah, I wrote a song, listen to it, and I'd hear, I get so many. And she's like, did you like it? Yeah, <laughs> so good. <laughs> Working with Ye and Rihanna was dope. You know, the experts of fucking music, it was crazy. I asked a guy named Che to meet Kanye, and he was like, okay. <laughs> and we went to his crib, and I played him some music, and that night I went in to go write for Rihanna. I was just lit and like, lit, lit, lit. <laughs> That's the uh, story behind Bitch Better My Money. I mean, we had a teacher that didn't like BB. Frau Rose came to me and was like, "Ich weiß, dass du denkst, dass du Sängerin wirst, aber es wird nicht passieren. So that's why you need geography in your life." <laughs> I don't have the same friends and love around me in Los Angeles that I do here. LA is just for work, I guess. The shit that I'm coming out with represents the period in my life where I felt misunderstood, and I guess there's a fight in me. The way you reach freedom is doing what the fuck makes you happy. People like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. If you want Being so young and having accomplished huge things, my biggest fear is to lose myself. I always want to stay true to who I am, and I want people to see me for the shit that I've actually done. I never want to look back at my life and be like, damn, I showed a side of me that I faked. I never want to be dishonest. I'm fighting for my life. Hey, golf is like the worst sport.